Before walking into the courtroom Monday morning, former President Donald Trump railed against the gag order imposed by the judge overseeing his criminal trial in New York. I was in Miami this weekend, and reporters are asking me questions, the same questions like you're asking me, and I have to say I have a gag order, I can't speak about it. Never happened before, ever. Inside the courtroom, Judge Juan Rashawn found Trump in contempt once again, this time for comments he made about the jury in an interview last month. The judge fined Trump $1,000, then noted that since the fines don't appear to have an effect, going forward, the former president could risk jail time. Judge Marchand told Mr. Trump, the last thing I want to do is put you in jail. You're a former president of the United States, and possibly the next one as well. But Marchand said the gag violations constitute a direct attack on the rule of law, which I cannot allow to continue. The former president maintains he should be able to speak freely. It is unconstitutional and it shouldn't be allowed. And I wish people could move a little bit quicker, the appellate courts, because the whole world is watching this. Trump is charged with falsifying business records in connection with payments his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. On the stand Monday, a former controller for the Trump organization, Jeffrey McConney, testified about his role in arranging payments to Cohen, which the prosecution says were reimbursements. Trump denies any wrongdoing. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.